Greetings brothers and sisters. So today I'm here to show you how I perform this particular road opener of mine and it combines various different forms of magic. Okay, various different forms of magic. Now I've got my client's face covered, just the face. Um, I mean, if somebody would know who this person is by green hair, I, I highly doubt it, highly doubt it. Okay, um, and I will be lifting the camera up shortly. So just in case you guys do spot anything or do see anything, then at least the camera is facing up and you're not actually going to see anything. So anyway, so for this, I'm going to be utilizing candle magic. Now I've got a consecrated candle here and I'll be pulling that out in a moment. I'm also utilizing sigil magic. Now this is sent the sigil here. Okay, and I'm going to show you that in a moment too. And this was channeled by the demon Fastos, a demon who is very um, skilled in the arts of demonic tongue, as well as um, the demonic language in general. And this also goes to symbols and glyphs and talismans written in the demonic script. And this is a uh, sigil that he gave me, which is perfect for creating opportunity, for shattering the road in an individual's life. Okay, now that being said, we've also got here some road opener powder, okay, and some blockbuster powder, okay. A road opener powder is pretty self explanatory. People may be asking, you know, what exactly is a road um, uh, a blockbuster powder? Now, these are all from Belladonna Botanica. Um, the blockbuster powder helps to clear away obstacles impeding your pathway to achieving your goals and dreams. It also helps open up new opportunities when it feels like you've had a streak of bad luck or haven't been able to make any progress. Blockbuster powder can be used for matters of love, career, financial stability and new life goals. All right, so be using these two. Now, this one may be a little strange and many people might not understand it, but I will be using separation oil. Okay, now separation, when you think about that, most people think about love, you know, separating somebody from somebody's life, pulling these two people away. I'll be utilizing the unique ability to pull things away from this oil. And I will be using this to separate from the person's life all impeding, restrictive, or limiting factors. So if there's stasis in their life, which could be blocking certain things, this is also gonna to go towards it, as well as the road opener powder, and as well as the blockbuster powder, okay? Also, we have uncrossing oil, because when this road is opened, I also want this person to have zero, and I mean zero um, curses, zero, uh, malign wickedness uh, upon them, uh, get rid of all these things which plagues them. So it's going to remove hexes, jinxes, bad luck, and all these different things, okay? That being said, I'm also going to be utilizing slut water into this just to add as an additional source of ritual power, as well as I've also used this for cleansing and purification. So we'll also be utilizing that for cleansing and purification. Also, we have Asher Lulu's um, Perfect Protection Elixir. I will be utilizing this because I want my client to actually be protected whilst they undergo this journey, okay? Once they now move into this new phase of their life. And I've got Protection and Purification Smudge Spray, so that will also be doing exactly what it says. Here, I have my own herbal concoction for Santa Muerte. And whenever I add this into a spell, her energy gets added into the ritual. These have been sat on her altar. These have been consecrated by her and held in the statue of her hand. So we'll be infusing her energy into the spell. Okay. As well as Santa Muerte oil. Okay. And I'll be doing that because Santa Muerte has agreed to lend her energy into this. She's not entirely 100% involved. However, her energy will be distilled into this. Now also, I have affirmations written here, such as clear path, okay? Abundance, what do I mean by abundance? When you say abundance, people always think money, 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 money. No, an abundance of luck, an abundance of happiness, an abundance of prosperity, money, so on and so forth. There are many forms of abundance, okay? And this one down here, we have success. And in the final one here, we have opportunity, okay? And of course, we have the client's 
image right there, which has actually been consecrated. I've taken some consecration oil and I did the four corners. I have meditated upon this and I've also used radionics to actually use this as a, a pictorial gateway, if you will. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from K and now that we've lifted this up a little, I also will say that I've got here a lancet as I will be doing a blood letting onto the sigil itself. Also, you'll notice we're not using one single candle. We're using these three smaller candles as this is in the shape of the triangle. The sign of manifestation, the sign of materialization. And this is around the actual operation. And these candles have been anointed in consecration oil. And because I've got three boxes set up of radionics, I was able to actually charge these candles on the radionics box, which was very, very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first light these candles here. Okay. And as I light these candles, what I'm also going to use, and you don't have to use all of this, guys, when you do this type of stuff, me, I'm doing this on behalf of someone else. There you go, that's just a little bit of spray there. It looks like nothing's coming out, but it is coming out. Well, I need a little squirt of that there, and that's the Santa Muerte spray. I've got off Santa Muerte's altar, and that's used to, um, it says you're holy death against envy and enemies. So any envious people, any enemies that may be prohibiting her from moving forward in her life. One little spray, allow that energy to linger in this space. Now, talking about spray, we'll also be using the smudge and protection spray. Now I activate all things and I use them, except for that because that's literally on her altar at all times, being activated at all times, but the presence of her being there. For this, I will activate. Protection and purification smudge spray. I activate you now. And I call forth the magic contained within you. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to spray. <laughs> I actually expected that, so it's completely fine. I'm just going to spray all over the area. And what I'm doing is I'm not only clearing my area, I'm also clearing her area, my client, her image. I'm, I'm using these purifying energies and I'm bringing them all here. I'm condensing them all here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this road opener powder here. I'm only going to take a little, okay, I'm going to put some of this around here in a circle as such. I've already activated this. I'm going to state an intention as I go around in the circle. Creature of magic, creature of earth, spirit of this road opener powder. I activate the energies and I activate the magic contained within you. To open the road and the path for my sister tonight. To open the road for her. To open the path to life. To open the path of adventure, to clear all things from her way, that may impede her, that may stop her, that may limit her, and that may hinder her. So it shall be, so it is done. I'm going to do the same with the blockbuster powder here. Creature of magic, 
creature of earth, spirit of this blockbuster powder. I activate you now. I activate the powers and the function within you to clear all obstacles and barriers and all blockages. To clear all barriers and all limitations within, around, upon and over my fellow sister. And now I'm going to take the Santa Muerte spray, uh, the Santa Muerte herb, okay? La Santa Muerte, La Santissima, hear me now, Santa Muerte, hear me now, Santa Muerte. La Nina Blanca. La Flaquita, La Madrina, I call your energies into the spell before me now, into the spell before me now, into the spell before me now, into the spell before me now. May you aid in the manifestation and the materialization of this spell. I'm just going to set the S down beside here, and as I do that, I'm going to take the Santa Muerte oil, and I'm just going to go over it in a few droplets here, around the circle, La Santissima, I infuse your essence into this spell, I infuse your essence into this spell. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the sigil before me, right on the center. I'm going to gaze into it. Focusing and harnessing the intention of the spell and ritual. Projecting that desire, projecting that intent into the sigil. As I gaze into it, the lines begin to flash. I open this sigil. I open this seal in the name of Fastos, demon of the demonic tongue. I open this sigil in your name. To call forth the powers needed and required. I feed it blood. I feed it my blood. I'm putting it onto the sigil here. Set this aside. As I focus in on all these things, all these energies before me, I can feel the energy now and I can feel the power radiate from that sigil. I call these powers and energy through the gate and through the seal before me. I infuse them into this spell. I infuse them into my sister's life. I intertwine these energies before me now. 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 And I don't tend to rush, I tend to sit with these things. 
sit with these energies. I'm allowing myself some time before I move on to the next. Now I'm going to take the sun crossing off. I activate you, creature of magic, creature of the soil, spirit of the uncrossing oil. And I anoint this image, which is being consecrated by my sorcery and by my magic. So I infuse these energies into the spell. I infuse this magic from the soil into this spell. I uncross you, sister. I uncross you of all negativity and all harm. I uncross you, sister, of all bad luck, all hexes, curses, and jinxes of you directly upon you, or ones done upon your bloodline. I uncross you, sister, of all your negativity, of all your afflictions, afflictions of the mind, the heart, the body and soul. I uncross you, sister. I uncross you. Take the separation oil here. Oil of separation. I activate you now. I activate the powers within you. And I anoint this image. Consecrated by my sorcery. I anoint this image now. In this oil. And I separate from her life all that which does not serve her, all that which limits her, all that which binds her. I separate her from her misfortunes. I separate her from her trauma. I separate her from her pain. I separate her. I separate her. I separate her from all things non-conducive and all things which may stand, impede, or limit her path in ascent in happiness and her aspirations of glory I'm gonna take some of this slut water here and what I'm going to do is because it's uh because I'm trying to use a little bit of it because I tend to go overboard. I tried to, I'm going to use a decent amount. I'm going to use the pipette here. Slap water. I activate you in the name of Astarte, goddess of the earth, queen of the earth, queen of the underworld, queen of the heavens, goddess of love and of war. Hear me now, in your name, Astarte, I activate this elixir of slut water. I infuse these energies herein to uncross, to purify. I activate this Asrolulu's perfect protection elixir. Esraludu, in your name, he who wields the flaming sword, great protector, protect my fellow sister here in all things and in all matters of life. Protect her upon her new journey as she accompanies new challenges, new tests, profound new glory, profound new happiness. And now I'm also going to use 
some of this sacred water here as I was meditating and gazing upon it I could feel something was missing I could feel something was in this area was in my environment that must be used as I focused my attention towards that I could feel an energy pulling to me and it was of this this sacred water something which I've been using for a while now I've been testing out for this to be called to me in such a manner I do not ignore these things I don't ignore such things so I will be using this too sacred water I activate you and I activate the magic contained herein I awaken your sacred properties and I infuse your power, your magic and your energy into the spell before me now. I call upon all the energies before me now. I intertwine and align them as one singular current, as one singular wave, as one singular strike of my sorceress will. To manifest in your life a clear path. To open forth the road in your life. So you may achieve your abundance, your opportunity, and your success. So you may achieve your abundance. Your opportunity, and your success. For I manifest in your life this clear path. I call all the powers here present, all forces and all energies called and conjured. And I align them to the intentions and the will of my fellow sisters. So it shall be. So it shall be. So. And now, I've taken the image and I've folded it with all the oils. With all the herbs. With all the things of this spell. I fold them together like this. I'll seal it. Together. I seal this spell. I seal it so. So I seal this spell. So I seal it so. I 
I seal this spell. So I seal it so. I take the other candle. As so I seal this spell, I seal it so. So I seal this spell. I seal it so. Then the other candle here. I seal this spell. I seal it so. As I seal this spell. As I seal it so. Although sealed in wax, I will now seal it in this black ribbon. Just going to wrap the first bit out of shot here. Sraachu manta tu espacho costamo, istranta makala manacho. And now that's been sealed together like this. I now place on here a Santa Muerte. As well as my Santa Muerte oil. French all over it. La Santa Muerte. Hail La Santissima. I ask that you stand guard and that you watch over my fellow sister tonight stand guard over her watch her day after day after day after day and protect her and guide her to her goals her dreams and ambitions. La Santa Muerte, La Santissima, I offer unto you brown tequila, I offer unto you silver tequila. As I blow the smoke onto the actual spell contained right here, what I am doing is I am further infusing it with the energy of Santa Muerte as these sit on her altar and these consume and absorb her energy. And by lighting it through the smoke, her spirit and power and energy travels. And this will be left now on Santa Muerte's altar. Hail la Santissima.